Okay, so example nine in our differential equations topic, we've been looking at how to solve first order differential equations using a kind of separating variables technique. And this is a wee contextual example. We're actually having to construct the equation from um, a, a this kind of word problem or a, a contextual problem. And we, we know that it's a differential equation because it's a problem involving rate of change and anytime you see in, in a piece of text that something is is connected to the rate of change of something then we can uh, quite likely introduce um, a differential equation so here's one there's a lot of words in it so i'll you can pause it if you want and and read the text uh, there are two parts first part is really the the creating and the uh, of a general and in a particular solution and in part B, which we'll get to later, is about uh, using the, the rule uh, that we've actually are using the formula that we've come up with. So a couple of things to note about this uh, text uh, at the start. We're told that the rate at which the number of stickers in the album increases. So that's our uh, differential part. That's our dn by dt, because it's about time. Um, so in over time, the rate of change of the number of stickers dn by dt is going to be our thing. Uh, but there's a thing that might not be uh, uh, familiar to all of you, it just depends. We're told that it's uh, directly proportional to the number of stickers still to collect. Okay, so well, let's have a look at just that kind of part of the work. So we're told that we've got the num n is the number of uh, stickers. T is the time in days. I'm told that the rate of change of the number of stickers the boy has is dn by dt, the change of stickers over time. Now we're told it's directly proportional to the number of stickers he's got left to collect. And that number would have to be 500 minus n. That's how many he's got left, because we know there's 500 uh, stickers to collect. Now, the directly pro proportional, what the symbol that we use for that is this alpha thing. It means it's directly proportional. Now, two quantities are said to be in direct proportion. If when you uh, plot the values against each other, they create or they'll all lie in a straight line through the origin. Okay, Which means that we must have this constant gradient. They form... Uh, if you think about the equation of the line of that form y equals mx, we're basically saying that the, whatever variable here is the gradient times a. So there's some uh, multiplier between the two quantities, which is a constant, it's the constant gradient. And so when we say that two quantities are in direct proportion, we're basically saying that we can make an equation out of them. So we're saying that we're going to introduce, we're saying this dn by dt is equal to some multiplier of 500 minus n. And the multiplier we normally use in proportion is k. Um, it, it doesn't need to be, but it is in this case. So uh, that's our that's the way of saying that they're not directly to each other, but one is a multiple of the other. So that's us started off. We've got an equation, and we've got a differential equation. And what we, what we want to do is, as we have done before, function in n dn equals a function of t dt. So we can write down 1 over 500 minus n dn is equal to k dt. So k is a constant. And so if we integrate both sides, then we end up with the idea this is going to be a natural log of 500 minus n. Uh, divided by the derivative of the function 500 minus n, which is negative 1. So that means it's going to be negative is equal to, that's a constant term k, so if we're integrating with respect to t, uh, we have kt plus t. Okay, and we can develop that, we can multiply both sides by negative uh, 1 to get rid of that minus sign. Um, so we get natural log of 500 minus n is equal to negative kt. I'm just going to write plus c anyway because it's just a constant. We don't know its value. And it just saves me adding an extra negative sign. 
take the exponential of both sides, e to the log of 500 minus n is equal to e to the negative kt plus c, which means that 500 minus n is equal to e to the negative kt multiplied by e to the negative c. We've done that before, uh, where we've got constant term in a power. So we're using the rules of indices that say if, we're, if the powers, the two terms adding together, a sum of powers, we can split that up into a multiplication of terms. Um, I'm just going to make it plus c. Now, what we do with this is that we're now multiplying by a constant. So we introduce a, a, a con, usually a capital letter A. So we're going to say here that 500 minus n is equal to a times e to the negative kt, where a is this constant value e to the c. So we've changed our constant from being a, um, a value adding on to the function to being a multiplier. We're nearly there in terms of a function in terms of n. Um, what do we need to do? I we just rearrange it and we get n equals 500 minus a e to the negative kt. And that's our uh, general equation. Uh, or general solution, rather. General solution. Okay, so uh, we can then go and find a particular solution because we're given some information. Um, so let's just see. Particular solution. What are we told? Uh, we're told that on day zero, uh, when time is zero, the boy has no stickers. Okay, So t equals zero, n equals zero. And after four days, he has 50 stickers. So we've got actually two pairs of information that we can use. Let's just bring that here. We'll keep the, the solution at the top. So we're saying that t equals 0, n equals 0, and t equals 4, 4 days, n equals 50. So we can use that information to help us to find some constants. We've actually got two constants here. We've got this constant a, and we also have a constant k, which we're going to have to find. That's why we actually need both of these pairs of information. So when t equals 0, n equals 0, so from the first one we can say that 0 equals 500 minus a e, and if n is uh, so t equals 0, then that whole uh, exponent there is, is 0. That goes to 1. So we're told that 0 equals 500 minus a, so a is equal to 500. In other words, we now can say that n equals 500 minus 500e to the negative kt, or we could say that it's 500 times 1 minus e to the negative kt. Either way, that's us partly done. We've got one constant uh, calculated. We can use the other bit of information here, substituting n is 50. And we're told that t is 4, so negative 4k. Yeah. Negative 4k. So we can um, solve that. We can work that one out. So if we divide uh, through by 500, we're going to get a 10, or 0 0.1 is equal to 1 minus e to the negative 4k. Make that okay. And if we rearrange that, we can see the e to the negative 4k. For some reason, I'm having difficulty writing at this point. I thought e to the negative 4k is going to be 1 minus 0 0.1, which is 0 0.9. We could take natural log of both sides. They cancel out, so we're left with negative 4k is the natural log of 9, so k is natural log of 0 0.9 divided by negative 4, which if you do that in your calculator, works out 0 0.026, 0 0.026. In other words, we have a formula uh, of one of those forms at the top there, 
we can use either. So we can say that n is equal to 500 times 1 minus e to the negative 0 0.026t. Right, there we go. That's our particular solution. All the mathematics around somebody collecting their football sticker. So that's us got a formula, which means we should be able to apply the formula. Let's go and check what the actual uh, story was. Way back up here. Um, when he needs 50 more stickers, he can uh, send away for them. After how many days can he do this? So in other words, after how much time has he got 450, I guess, uh, we're going to be working out how long does it take to get to 50 or 450 let's check and see for part b so n equals uh, 450 we're looking for the time that's our question so we know that n is 450 equals 500 times 1 minus e to all these bits here, uh, which means that 400 divided through by 500 and we get 0 0.9 is equal to 1 minus all those. If we arrange it, e to the negative 0 0.00, oops, just 1, 0, 2, 6, t is equal to 1 minus 0 0.9, which is 0 0.1. I take the log of both sides. I'll just do this quickly. And we get that. So t is the natural log of 0 0.1 divided by negative 0 0.026, which is going to give us an answer of hmm, 88 point. Five six eighty six point six degrees uh, to one decimal place, which um, raises the slightly philosophical question of after how many days can he actually send away for his stickers? He's only get fifty, so we discover that he lands on four hundred and fifty stickers, eighty eight point six days. This is not really a continuous function. He's only opening. Uh, stickers every now and again. We're assuming every day at one point. Um, so really the answer is 88 days or 89 days. Um, you could argue that uh, on the 88th day he will be able to send away or you could argue that after 88 days on the 89th day he will be uh, able to send away. So I'm not going to uh, worry too much about the ins and outs of if the answer is 88 or 89. Um, we can say that he can send away for the remaining stickers. I'm going to say after 88 days because um, he'll be so excited that if he, if after 86.6 days, 0.6 or 24 hours, what's that going to be? Um, uh, 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 who knows? Um, 2.4, what, halfway through the day, just after lunch. Um, he's going to finish his stickers. Um, so he'll be setting off in the afternoon because he'll be excited. So that's on uh, after 88 days. Right, that's my answer. It's a long question. Uh, there are shorter ones, but that kind of covers a whole lot of stuff uh, that will help you solve these problems.